You should be happy making videos and never making a dime off of it. So what do I have to share with you today? In my first official YouTube video I posted yesterday, I noted subjects I'm most passionate about, and they are in no particular order, self-development, health and fitness, finances and business, human psychology, biology, astronomy and the universe, history, the future of everything, including us and the universe, and the odd conspiracy theory. Today, I'd like to tackle how to be healthier and get the body you want, a subject near and dear to my heart. Fitness and health has to be close to the top of my list. I look after that, I can be better and look after others. With a mass of information at your fingertips, there is also a mass of bullshit out there to shift through. Even with all the information I know about strength training and nutrition, guess what? I still learn more every day. But there are fundamentals that you can learn, and once you learn them, that's it. Nothing changes with the facts. So I can definitely understand how hard it must be to navigate. Should I take a shake to lose weight? What about a juice cleanse? I heard something about intermittent fasting. What about keto, my bro? Bread makes you fat. No carbs before sleeping because it'll get stored as fat. All fucking bullshit. Here's everything you need to know in a nutshell. To lose weight, calorie deficit. To get strong, progressive overload. That's it. It doesn't matter how you go about it. Weight loss is literally math. Energy in is less than energy out. Weight loss. Muscle gain is lift heavier weights over time. Plus, energy in is more than energy out. Muscle gain. Burn more energy every day than the energy you eat in your food. Weight loss. Burn less energy every day than the energy you eat in your food. Weight gain. Or, eat less and walk more, lose fat. Eat more and walk less, gain fat. Losing weight has nothing to do with the gym, but muscle gain does. We don't lift weights to gain muscle. We lift weights to be stronger, to move better, and to make everyday life easier. We can actually get stronger and lose weight at the same time. A great combo for anyone wanting to lose weight, but it's not necessary for the client wanting to lose weight. Whether it's weight loss or muscle gain, what he or she needs is a better understanding of the basics of food and why it's important to learn about the energy amounts in each food. And if you think you can get results and keep them long term without learning about the energy in food, you're fucking cooked. Is it hard to learn? No. Is there a lot to learn? Yes. Can I learn the basics and start? Fuck yes, you can. Energy in, energy out. Energy in, energy out. Every single piece of food or drink you consume has an amount of energy within it. We don't just eat because we're hungry and we want something yummy to eat. We eat because we need the energy content within each piece of food. We then store that energy within our cells to replenish the body, keep the heart beating, and keep some in reserve to use as we walk around. As you watch this video, there is literally a combustion of food into fuel taking place in your body. Protein, carbs, and fats make up the energy in all food. And that is broken down and carried in your blood cells to tissues and cells in your body to either repair, replace, or to be used as energy to move. Food is fuel. Food can be tasty and good food that is tasty is the best food. Indulgences can lead to pleasure and can be a part of a balanced meal. But the chances are you've been pleasuring yourself for quite some time, so it's time to lay off the food porn. Too much pleasure always has a negative effect on a person's well-being. Eat well and treat yourself, but don't overindulge. As Hippocrates once said, Let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine thy food. There is massive healing potential in the food that we eat, and almost all bodily ailments in this world, and almost all physical and mental health disorders can be made orders of magnitude better just by diet and exercise alone. Not cured, I don't think anything can be cured, but a hell of a lot better. If I said it was easy to figure out, I'd be lying. But is it worth it? Yes, we're talking about your health here. And in every case, it's a matter between life and death because we're all going to die. But you get this right and you could get not only more time on earth, but a better quality of time on earth. You could live every day happy with where you are physically and as a result, be better mentally too. Being healthy, fit and strong is necessary for you to live at your peak and live your best life possible. If anyone told you you can live your best life being unhealthy, fucking slap them in the face. 
And one of the ways to be the best, fittest, healthiest versions of yourself is to make exercise and healthy eating a non-negotiable. I can't pack in all the information you need into this one video. I'll have to go more into depth in future videos. But if you like the content, give it a thumbs up, chuck a comment in and subscribe. I'm looking forward to making more educational videos that suck less over time. I appreciate you watching. I'll talk soon.